Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will take a look at how you can create 2D physics in your website. As you can see on my screen, I have something called 2D physics and it is possible with the help of Matter.js library, which we will see exactly how to use that in this video. So you can create this cool effect in your website. Let me show you one more example. You can see this is uh, excel.games.com website and you can see one more example of this. But this thing, uh, you can see it is a 3D object. They are 3D objects, not 2D. But yeah, the effect is pretty same. So we will see exactly how we can create this kind of effect. It looks very cool and it is very, very easy to um, implement in your website. So yeah, guys, so let's see how it is done. Let me first show you the Matter.js website. So I will write Matter.js. And here, click on the first link over here. You can see this is the website of Matter.js. You can see some of the demos. Let me show you more demos. Click on this demo tab and it will take you to this website. Here you can select every like all the demos they have shown over here. Let's say stress over here. You can see all the demos you can create with the help of Matter.js like say pyramid over here. And there are some strings as well. So let's just slingshot. You can see this is something like angry bird stuff. So yeah, it is it is pretty cool and some more over here as well let's say air friction what is this so yeah as you can see it is falling something slow over here so yeah there are many examples you can go through all of them and see all of them there are so many examples we will see exactly how to do that so let me just open my vs code real quick and here i have a like pretty basic html with the boilerplate here first of all what i would need to do uh, i will create a Let's say canvas to add that 2D physics. We need to have a canvas. So I will create a div and I will give it an ID of canvas. All right. So after that, I think our HTML is that only. And now I will need some styling. So first of all, margin zero and padding for zero for all. And then after that, I will um, style the canvas. So what I will write, I will write position absolute of not absolute, let's say relative. And then let's say from top. Oops. From top, I think it will be minus 100 pixel. And width, I think we'll, we have to increase the width. So I will say 200 pixel. All right. And let's open our website. So. So you cannot see anything right now because we haven't done anything. So now it's time to add our Matter.js library and start working on it. The so first of all, we have to find the CDN. We, we will not like import or download any dependency. So come to this CDN.js website, um, CDN, CDNJS.com. Here you can find all the CDNs uh, which you want. So I will search for Matter.js. Here you can see Matter.js and just copy this thing over here. Copy script tag and I will paste it under my body over here. So, all right. So, our Matter.js script tag is ready and I will also create one more script tag and to give the SRC to this JS file over here because we haven't write anything. So, I will just provide over here script JS like that. Our HTML part is done. Now, let's go to our JavaScript part. Let me just show you their docs. So here, as you can see, if I just um, like randomly choose anything, let's say this mixed shapes and click on this icon over here, which is the source icon, it will take me to the GitHub repo. So here, there are all the codes for all the examples over here. As you can see, this is the uh, slingshot one. So this is the slingshot one. And but we need for mixed JS. So here you can see the code. And we can simply just copy paste and implement in our website. So that's exactly what we are going to do now. And we will also implement some like custom shapes as well. All right. So first of all, what I need to do, I will need to copy these variables. Okay. So I will just simply paste it over here. We need like we need some more variables, but for now, I think this is enough. So as you can see, this library is already included with the help of this CDN. So we don't have to download any dependencies. Next, what we need to copy is the engine. 
all right so let's paste the engine over here and as you can see this engine is requiring by that okay and then we need to add a gravity so let me just add a gravity by myself what i will write i will write engine um, dot gravity okay and it will be dot y because it is in y axis and i will give it a value of y one so in this way you can control the gravity if we if you give a lower value the gravity will be low and higher the gravity will be high so i will keep it at one now what i can do i will just simply um copy this render part over here and also render run all right and paste right here so i don't think we have to change anything okay so we have to change one thing a uh, document dot get element by id because we have to like provide the name of the canvas so yeah just like that and now everything will occur in our canvas we can also change the width and height as well and so yeah i can also write background let's say background um none over here okay to have a clear background and also let's write wire frame um wire frame will be false all right so yeah i think we are done now and comment this out and we can like like just let it be as it is so the next thing we want is our runner so as you can see this is our runner it helps to run the engine and display our 2d elements on the canvas so just like that we have added the runner part and after that we need to add the actual elements so what i can do we will not copy that we will actually write the code for it i will write where box a you can give it any name this is our box okay so i will add a box in our canvas so i'll write bodies dot rectangle all right so this is the shape which you have to give you can like add square rectangle or any shape so i will write rectangle then we have to give some values so 400 by 200 and then you have to define the length and width so i will define the length and width as 64 and 64 so this will be a like at it will act as a square itself then i will just leave it like that okay so yeah i will just leave it like that and after that we can easily copy this composite dot add function this will the final function which will add our bodies or add everything in our canvas so here as you can see these are the four bodies and i will also add one more body which i have just created this box a so i will simply write box a so these four things are the walls okay so we will, you will see in a minute so let's just wait and i think we are pretty much done over here now i will we need to write composite let me just copy from the docs itself and i will write this thing over here um, let's say copy um, here and one more thing we have to copy here um let's say this one all right so yeah so let's say this one and also we will just render the mouse as well i oh, know not the mouse let's just copy this one paste it here and let's see our website so yeah as you can see guys this is our website this is what it looks like you can see there is a element but we cannot interact with it so to interact with it we have to uh, like insert this mouse function over here so i'll just quickly do that and here i will add the mouse and also we have to render the mouse um here so yeah so now i guess we will be able to control it so yeah, as you can see now i am able to control it and you can change the background color you can change this uh, color as well so what i will do now first of all i will show angle indicator uh, just comment it out it will just remove that red line from the here so all right guys so now let's see how you can add image instead of this a uh, plain box so to add an image what you need to do is come to your box element where it is so here 
you have to give some extra options over here you have to write render as you can see it is already recommending me render and it will take an object as well and here i have to write sprite so sprite all right and it is also an object so here the last one is texture all right so in this structure you have to provide the image path so i i have an image over here let's say box.png so you can see i have an image box.png and make sure that your image is the same size as the box you can see on the screen so it has to be a small image okay you, you cannot like change the image size in matters.js i wish we can but we cannot so here what i will write i will just give the path box.png and let's say um, okay so it is not working all the guys so as you can see we cannot see the image the issue was this is not wireframe it is wireframes so add an s over here and now wireframes will not be visible so as you can see it will look something like this and this is our image and you can simply like uh, pick, pick it up and like play with it now let's add one more object and we will see you can how you can change the color so what i will do i will just simply copy this box i will name it box b and i will keep the like these position or these values same and in the render i will comment this sprite and here what i will write i will write fill style so this is the method you have to use to get the a different color to your element so as you can see all right so we have to also add that box in our scene so i will just write box b in our composite dot add and now you can see as you can see we have two elements box this is the image one and this is the different color one so yeah guys i think that's it i hope you enjoy this video and one more thing you can see in the uh, demo over here they have some svjs some custom shapes so let me show you so yeah as you can see this thing over here you can see this thing over here so you can also add this kind of SVGs over here. Let me show you how you can do it. So what I need to do is, first of all, you have to copy an SVG and paste it in your HTML. So I will quickly do that. So let me just do that quickly. All right, guys. So this is the SVG which we will we are going to add in our canvas. And two more CDNs which I have added are these one. The first in path tag, and the second is poly decom. So these are the uh, CDNs which will allow us to add an SVG in our canvas. So I will just uh, give you these CDNs in the description so you can copy from there. All right, because you cannot like find this in the CDN JS uh, website. So you can copy in the description from the description. So after uh, like giving the SVG and the CDN, let's add some JavaScript over here. First of all, in the where part, you need to have some more variables. The first one is SVG. All right. And this will be uh, equal to matter dot SVG. All right. And I think that's it. That's the only uh, variable we have to add over here. And one more variable we have to add. Uh, and that is vertices. So let me just add it. Uh, vertices and this will be equal to matter dot vertices just like that and now i guess our variable part is done the only thing is to implement it so let's quickly add the code to add the svj in our scene for the guys so this is the whole code to add an svj or a custom shape in your 2d physics uh, in canvas so as you can see i have declared a variable and I am getting that SVJ from this get element by ID. As you can see, I have given the ID of SVJ in our path. So make sure to give it in path, not the SVJ tag itself. So it has to be in the path itself. And after that, I am just using the SVJ path to vectors method to like convert all the path to vertices. And then we are doing some maths and like some scale factoring over here. Then to set the scale just like that in this way and let me just console, remove this console log and this is the main part over here 
which you have to define some of the values. So you can see this is the x and y value of the SVJ, and this is the exact method which we have used in the box element to add the color. So we are giving the color as gray, and then simply what we are doing, we are just simply um, adding that SVJ body in our world. So let's save it and see how it would look like. So yeah, guys, as you can see, our SVJ is there and it is a color of gray which we have just given it to it. And as you can see, it is a like SVJ of an a country. I am not sure what country it is, but yeah, as you can see, it interacts pretty well with the, all the elements. You can see it interacts pretty well. So yeah, guys, in this way, you can add any custom shape you want with the help of SVJ and customize it. And also, you can insert the image tag or image images in your canvas so yeah guys i hope you learned something new and i hope you now know how you can add 2d physics in your website and make your website even cooler so that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one